Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. What is today's video exactly? Well, I'm going to be talking about something that I haven't talked about ever. And it's my full, honest opinion on the new Orange Line trains. And why have I not released this video earlier? Well, it's I'm going to get into that reason in this video. But basically, in short, I haven't had time to ride them. And also, we've had a pandemic going on. And there's been other stuff going on as well. So I haven't had time to ride them, and only just recently have I been able to ride them again. And well, today I'm going to be giving you my full honest opinion about them. Now some of you might not agree with what I say. Now mind you, this is just my sole opinion. This is not directed towards anyone, this is not like hate speech or anything like that. So just respect my opinion. Alright, so without further ado, let me begin and tell you what my full honest opinion on these things even are. So, to first even start off, how did I even get to ride them? Well, I went home to Boston, I think it was, it was a week ago now, I went back because I had a bit of a break this week. I was home from I think I was home from Saturday all the way to Tuesday. And on Tuesday afternoon after I finished up all of my schoolwork, I was like, "Okay, I'm going to go into the city." And at that point, the orange line, the new orange line trains were back on the tracks because well, the investigation had officially concluded and the MBTA declared the new trains safe. Yeah, safe. So, they so they're officially back on the rails. And well, I figured I should just go ride them because I have been ridden them in literally a year and I shit you not it has been literally over a year since I've ridden them because well I first rode the new orange line trains back in August 14th 2019 that was the first service day or that was the first day of service for the new orange line cars I was um that's where my that's where the stock photo came from that's from the first day the new orange line trains were ever pushed out onto the rails and that was the first time I had ever, I, that was the first time I had ever ridden them. And while I had preferred the 12 series over them since then, and I still do, but basically, I had not really ridden them so much because, well, what happens next is pretty self-explanatory. What happened was, well, we had something called COVID-19 or coronavirus, and well, that kind of just fucked up everything. And well, I basically couldn't ride the T from the day COVID-19 was declared a pandemic all the way to April of this year because in April of this year I officially got my first shot of the vaccine and since I got two shots I have been allowed to go back on the T and not even just being allowed to I felt comfortable riding the T since I've been vaccinated and for obvious reasons but basically I hadn't ridden these things in so long and well getting back on them it definitely made me interested because, well, I had been so used to the 12 series for so long, I was kind of open to what my thoughts were on these things. So I'm going to just stop blabbering now and I'm going to stop with the backstory and I'm going to start now by giving you what exactly I did. So on that Tuesday afternoon, went all the way to downtown crossing, hopped on the orange line and then waited at Massachusetts Avenue for the next 1400 train. And while I used the new trains.today website, which is a really helpful website, I'll leave a link in the description below, the 12 series that I had gotten off had just left, and it was about two minutes between the next train, in which the next train was actually a 1400s train, so I was like, okay. I whipped out my phone and I started recording. Attention passengers, the next train to Forest Hills is now approaching with all new Orange Line cars. And when it came rolling in, and I heard the sounds that it made, I was like, oh my god, I have, I have not heard this in I don't know how long. So, I hopped on them, and I decided to take it for a little ride. I rode it all the way from Massachusetts Avenue, all the way to Roxbury Crossing. So first off, I just want to say, the interior is really nice. I kind of ridiculed the, the interior for my all the trains in the tier list video, and while I'm just throwing that out, out the window here, the interior is actually pretty nice. The bright LED lighting and the white walls are actually really nice. 
It adds for a good aesthetic and it makes it feel nice, open and spacious and clean. And that I do appreciate. And well, the yellow handrails, I'm not quite a fan of, but I also can't really see there being stainless steel poles in that train either. I just, I just can't see it. What exactly else did I do? Well, I sat in the seats, and what are my opinions on the seats? I fucking hate them. Who the fuck decided to use plastic for seats? No one wants to sit in plastic seats. Imagine you're some guy who has to, who has to work at, okay, this is probably just like some situation that's like completely random. But imagine you're some guy working for the T, right? And you have to work at Forest Hill Station, but you live over by Oak Grove and you start your work day early in the morning. So you hop on the orange line and you have to and you have to ride all the way from Oak Grove to Forest Hills. Now, would you rather sit on the carpeted or previously leather seats of the 1200s or would you rather sit in the plastic of the 1400s? And I'm pretty sure all of you would say you would rather sit in something more comfortable. And obviously I would say the carpet seats because my god, the carpet seats are so much better than those plastic seats. I don't know who the fuck thought that plastic seats would be good, but yeah, I get it, vandalism proof, but still, you gotta make this thing comfortable. I mean, that's the one thing I don't really like about this train. It's not comfortable. Whereas in the 12s, you kinda sit down, and you, you can just enjoy yourself. I mean, you know, you sit down, and you can just enjoy the ride. Whereas this, it's kinda just like, okay, um, this is hurting my ass now. I'm not a fan of the seats, however, the rest of the interior of the train is actually quite nice. The PA announcements, 10 out of 10 Frank, did a good job with those. I would also say the LED screens on, on the side near the doors that say like the stop and whatnot are actually really helpful. I, I, was, I was previously against them, but honestly they actually do help a lot. I think they're really cool, and honestly they add a really good, they're, they're just a good addition to the train overall as well as the new signboards on top and the new maps and other stuff. Overall, the interior is just better and I like it. I like the interior. Now, when it comes to the exterior, it's a totally different story. Now, mind you, I grew up with the 1200s with their current design and I love this design. It's amazing, I think it's great, 10 out of 10. However, I would change the design to make it out of a more durable material, but that's going off on a rabbit hole. But basically, what is my opinion on the exterior design of the 1400s? I don't like it. And there's there's a part of me that's never going to like it, because when it comes to the exterior design, things can't just go from one extreme to the other. You can't just take the, the design from one train car and radically change it, yet keep it somewhat similar, but change it. You just... You can't do that. It kind of it shakes the familiarity of the whole thing. Now, you know the design of the 1200s, right? The classic body style and design. Well, the 1400s resemble them, but they're obviously different. They're more curvy. The top half is longer than the bottom half, which just that I fucking hate. I just oh, I don't. You can see how agitated I am by these trains. I don't like the exterior design. Whoever thought to make the hump instead of in the direct center lower? Like, come on, dude, What? why? Basically, the hump is lower and it. I just, I hate it. It's awful. And the black front with the orange ring going around, that I will admit is actually pretty cool. The headlights, the red lights, pretty cool. However, I don't like the bumpers. The bumpers, Gross. Awful. Don't like them. The 12 series bumpers? Better. Now, when it comes to paint scheme, the actual shiny stainless steel and orange livery, I used to not like, but I'm actually okay with it. The fact that the livery isn't on the doors is fine. It's, I, cause, well, my friend Michael G created a whip of it on, in like Blender or something, but basically he created this whip on Blender, and well, I looked at it and I'm like, Oh, that, that does not look right. That's just, ew, no. And you might agree with me. They just don't look good. The actual overall train performance, as in how it moves, how it acts, and everything, is fine. I like it. It's a, it's a lot smoother ride, but I don't like the sounds it makes. The 1200s have a distinct sound to them when they're rolling down the tracks. You can hear them, 
and you know they're coming. These things are quiet, and it's just I don't like it. I probably will never like it, because it's just, it's different. And they're not my childhood, alright? I don't want to lose my childhood. That's the pretty much the whole, that's pretty much what the summary of this whole thing is. I don't want to lose my childhood, because I love the 12s. They're amazing, but I don't want them to go, because I love them. I grew up with them, and hell, I'm sure other people do too. And well, to recap all of this, what exactly do I think of these things? They're great, but the design needs to change, okay? And I think the manufacturer needs to change, because quite honestly, I just don't like the company. Sketchy company, just, no, don't like it. Anyway, that's, that's going off on a rabbit hole. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, join my Discord server, link is down in the description below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!